welcome to another tutorial in information theory in this tutorial we are discussing entropy coding and today we'll discuss Huffman's code as discussed in the previous tutorial the entropy coding is the process of designing a variable length code such that the average code word length approaches the entropy of the discrete memoryless system and we discussed that with the help of Shannon Fano coding I'd like to place the previous tutorials sheet here where we discussed uh, that the code was generated for five symbols with certain probabilities today we'll take up the same example and we have five different symbols x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 and we'll take the probabilities to be the same uh, just like in the case of Shannon Fano coding we'll keep the first column as xi the next column will, will be the probability of xi then uh, uh, I'll discuss the next steps as we move forward so I'll write down x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x1 has the probability of 0.4 this has the probability of 0 0.19 0 0.16 0 0.15 and 0.1 now in Huffman's coding what we need to do is we need to take the lowest two symbols with the lowest two probabilities and we need to add them up and add the probabilities of the lowest two symbols and then we'll need to move them up in the position so in the next column we'll write down of course 0 0.04 and when we add 0 0.15 and 0 0.1 it reaches 0.25 so it uh, it is placed second to 0.4 so I'll and all these are shifted downwards so we are this gets shifted so now the lowest two are 0.19 and 0.16 I'll add them up which will result in 0.35 so that will also be placed underneath 0.4 so this one goes here we need to keep doing this until we get now the sum of these two probabilities is greater than 0.4 so I'll uh, move it to the top and 0.4 goes here underneath it so we need to keep doing this until we are left with only two probabilities so in other words we need to divide the entire system into two parts they might not come out to be equal but that is how uh, we need to do it now we need to start generating the code from this side uh, the topmost gets a zero and this one gets a one and now these these two probabilities you can think of this 0.6 as the parent of these two so this parent has got gotten a zero here so place a zero first which is the parents zero then the upper one gets a zero and the lower one gets a one and 0.19 and 0.16 has a parent in 0.35 so write down a zero zero here and a zero zero here and further its own 
0.19 gets a 0, 0.16 gets a 1. And similarly, uh, let's go to this. Uh, 0.4 transfers its 1 to its, you can say, child. And then the previous one also gets a 1. And now, and this gets a 1 here also. Now please understand this point uh, this zero one goes to this point two five so this gets a zero one from its parent here and this one this zero one gets transferred here and point one five by virtue of being on the top gets a zero here and point one because of being um, at the lower position gets a 1 here and this this code gets transferred to its child as it is this one gets transferred to its child as it is uh, and yes that's about it so we have found the code for almost uh, every probability so x1 gets a code of 1 this is the final code it gets a code 1, th then 0.19 gets a 0, 0, 0, 0.16 gets a 0, 0, 1, 0 0.15 gets a 0, 1, 0, and 0.1 gets a 0, 1, 1. So, uh, this has assigned the symbol with the probability of 0.19 to a code which is 0, 0, 0, and so on and the highest probability uh, of 0.4 which is almost the half is assigned to the code 1 now this is a little different to what we got in Shannon Fano in Shannon Fano I'll compare the codes the codes were for x1 it was a 2-bit code for x2 also it was a 2-bit code but here it is more logical uh, because these probabilities are pretty low so they should have a higher bit count so this is in my opinion more logical approach than than the Shannon Fano coding and the final code is gotten like this and the average length is calculated just like the way we did in the case of Shannon Fano I went from 1 to 5 P X I into N I where N is the number of uh, bits in the code so what we get here is 0.4 into 1 plus 0.19 into 3 plus 0.16 into 3 plus 0.15 into 3 plus 0.1 into 3 so and the answer is 2.2 .2. and the and if you remember the the entropy for the system is 2.15 so this is not bad as well the average code length was 2.25 in the case of Shannon Fano coding and this has come out to be 2.2 .2 in case of Huffman coding which is more closely related to the entropy of the system and if you calculate the efficiency which is entropy upon the average length calculated by the coding uh, this also comes out to be equivalent to 97.7% uh, which is better than uh, 95 what we got in the case of uh, Shannon Fano coding and I hope the process of finding the code with the Huffman coding technique is clear you simply need to add up the probabilities of the least probable symbols and um, add them and place them on onto the next column appropriately 
and then finally start assigning the codes from the right hand side towards the left hand side and just keep on following the arrows because the 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 element on the rightmost side is considered as the parent so it transfers its code to the left part of the column and so on the propagation happens but over here the code length is different as compared to the Shannon Fano coding I highly recommend watching these two videos in tandem to get more understanding of the entropy coding but both of them do a fantastic job of generating a code for a set of symbols of discrete memoryless systems with certain amount of probabilities and thank you so much for watching the video you have a good day good life bye